What's up guys? How y'all doing here? It's another uh, wintry day here in Florida. Um, I don't know, it got almost close to freezing actually. Uh, but anyways, this is part six of the installment. You know, I know there's been a bunch of junk videos. Because you know, when it comes to aquaponics, sometimes you'll be in the middle of something and you'll say, hey, you know what? This ain't the right way to do it probably. Because there's so many different ways to do it. That's the thing. Um, there's a lot of wrong ways, a lot of right ways, and I by no means am no expert, but I've been running this system for about a year now. And uh, so I think I'm getting a little bit of experience in my belt. And, you know, let's say that's something that's very necessary. You know, a lot of people out there, they're selling stuff, and they probably never even put together a system before, or even ran one. Some probably have, I'm sure. But uh, anyways, I'm just going to give you an overview of the system. You know, I got a lot of other stuff coming up as far as... And there's still a lot of debris laying around. I've been trying to clean it up, but I just want to let you guys kind of see it. And I'm really happy with it. Um, and I got a lot more adding to do as far as the grow area because the grow area right now is um, it's not very big. You know, just I think 12 12 buckets. Um, probably gonna be putting some NFT in. I'm thinking, and uh, you know, some more grow beds. Uh, but anyways. Here it is. Let's go ahead and give it to her. Hold on one second. Showing you my grow bed set up so far. It's uh, 12 Dutch buckets. I got some with uh, net pot lids on them. And then some I just filled with rock. <clears throat> and the way I got my drain valve set on the other side, I'm going to show you, is when it goes down into the bucket, it folds down and it goes down and it's just leaving, I mean, a uh, hair. Uh, underneath between the bucket and the bottom enough, not big enough for no rocks to get in and it does create a nice siphon it'll suck all the water out um, it's probably not doing it right now because it's sitting as, as a, at a certain level but if I filled it up and let the bucket drain it would suck it all out um, this is just not a permanent thing I put this back here so I could keep the plants growing these were some of the plants in the grow bed if I discovered a problem I got some of these Brussels sprouts right here I got the plants already, and I started with some. And these things are looking ratty. They are just. Let me see if I can zoom in and see it. I don't know if it's going to get close enough for you, but it'll be able to zoom in. But they are just ate up with aphids. And I tell you what, on my inside garden too, what my hydroponic DWC cracky thing. Uh, I had a Brussels sprout in there, brought aphids in, and now they're everywhere. So, anyways, I'm gonna make a video about how I'm gonna try to take care of that. Aquaponics a little bit different because. I've done some reading. They say neem oil is not probably that great. I mean, in this system I could because probably because there's no water. If I took the plants and was real careful with it, I could probably probably do okay. Okay, anyways, let's go with the changes. Okay, I still got these three pots over here. But one thing I've done, and I'm going to be looking for some lids for these this barrels here. But I, I, if you remember before, I showed you all the piping and so forth. How it was way long. It's still a little bit long, but it's not near as bad. Um, these are coming right out of the fish tank, straight into the pipe. A lot more compact. Actually, and, and the, the, the barrels are, man, that flow is working a lot better. Um, I don't know why I can't even think of the name of what those things are called. You guys know, dang it. <laughs> ah, shoot. Let me get my brain firing on eight cylinders here, if it can. Um, Radio flow filter. Dang, I don't know why it's so hard for me to remember that. There it is. Okay, I got my radio flow filters. I showed you guys that. I'm going to get a more in-depth video about that, though. Um, some things I've learned and some good things of why you should have them in your system. At least that's my feeling. So let me go to the sump tank here. And the sump tank is buried. You know, maybe 8 inches above the ground, 10 inches. But it is buried. It's a lot closer. I mean, it's like right here. And I got a lot of water in it right now, but that's because I actually put a lot in it, but it ain't hurting nothing. Um, these right here, these pipes coming up, those are just there to keep the water from flowing out. Actually, the one is meant for a drain this way. The other one is meant for a drain going that way. You can see I have some lines plumbed in to run out some more water here too. Now these will probably have to be cut and changed a little bit, but this is what I had on the uh, the uh, blue barrel grow bed separating them. So I said I'll just screw that whole thing on in. If I need to, I can cut it and put a type a, a, a uh, a T in it and all that and just extend those. 
So that's that. So here we go. Everybody else, if I can get those black bags to cut off there, I'd be much happier. Um, but I, I really can't until I get me a better cover. If anybody has suggestions for a cover, I don't really want to use wood or anything like that because it's going to rot. And if you get pressure treated, well, then you know about that. I try to keep the system as, you know, toxic-free as possible. I mean, everything is food-grade except for the PVC, which, you know, we've been drinking out of that for years, so I don't think that's the worst-case scenario. Um, and actually, I'm going to wrap this PVC, though, because I discovered when I did some cutting... Even though it's, you know, that light gets into it. Algae will grow inside of that pipe like nothing. And so, even with you, you know, best case scenario, with, even without these holes from this other pipe here, it's got, uh, it gets algae in it. So I'm, I got some of that stuff I'm wrapping the buckets in. I'm going to wrap that in the pipe, help insulate it, keep the sunlight off it. That should help, help that out a lot. Okay, so there's, there's the... The uh, bucket set, and you see right here I got more grower. I got I me mean, a lot of blocks. So I basically got those for free. I used to do housing, clean outs and stuff for, um, you know, the foreclosed houses. And they just, they pay you to get rid of that stuff. At least they used to. It's changed a lot now. So I got a lot of that stuff just laying around. And I've been utilizing it. Because one thing about this system, guys, listen. If I had the money, I would put in a grand system. Because I'm going to tell you right now. You know, you know you got it bad in aquaponics when everything you see... You think, you think of, hey, can that be a fish tank or a grow bed? <laughs> That's how you know you've been bit by the aquaponics bug. And believe me, I've been bit pretty hard. Uh, anyways, so you see i got plenty of room to grow on both sides of this. And like I say, these we're putting here just to get the, the, plant, ba uh, the plant part back into the, the system here. Now, I've got it all separated where I can actually run the fish by themselves, the plants by themselves and all that. I can cut and change anything now. But here we go to the new addition i wish i would have had these barrels when i started they would have been a lot better to use um you see how they got the lids on them nice and clean no worries but uh you guys behave excuse me my two girls over there getting on to each other not the kids well i guess sort of my dogs but anyways so uh yeah these barrels are really good and this one here i got the barrel actually bolted onto the lid for the uh there's a name again. Gosh, why can't I ever think of it? Radio flow filter. Hey, it came quicker that time. Yeah, the the actual bucket is on there on that lid, and all I can do, I can just, I'm only running one of the one of these barrels at a time, so I can just move it from here to here. And then here's my 300 gallon tank right here. I got a few goldies in there, and actually a few crappie, speckled perch, wherever you're from. They call something different, but I got about nine or ten nice ones, and I don't know if you can see them. There's a little bit of debris floating around in this thing because it had gotten it sat here for a while and leaves blew in it and stuff and you know, I just said well it'll clean out itself after a while but you can see the water's pretty good now this piping here it's actually got some holes in it that are running through and spinning this thing around but I can actually turn that up where the pipe stand excuse me another bike went by I can turn that pipe up where it actually takes the um, the water and just shoots it down like a spray bar to give it some extra oxygenation and that's the way I'm going to run it except for right now it's just so cold I don't want to add cold to the water even though the crappie would love it they could care less about it being cold it's not so much for those fish it's actually for more of the the plants than anything that try not to keep it extra cold so there it is guys a breakdown a rundown a showdown of what I got and listen it is a heck of a lot more compact it looks like it may be kind of big and look at it but you know I mean, the reality of it is everything is a lot more closer, a lot more smoother running, and uh, I got a lot more room to expand in a neat way. You know, eventually I'd probably put at least a cover on it, probably not a greenhouse, because, you know, in Florida it's not like we really need it, uh, per se. I guess, you know, you can or whatever, but uh, anyway, so that's it, man. Guys and girls, I mean all men, probably sure there's some women out there looking into this too, although it does seem like men are the ones that get involved in this pretty heavily <laughs> but hey guys thanks a lot for watching i got some more videos i'm going to be doing actually breaking down the components and why i use them and why i think they should be used that way like i say not that i'm an expert but you know it's just basic sense sometimes when you think about it, it makes common sense makes it uh it just seems it, it just makes sense when i break it down you'll see especially for the health of the fish which i say before is you know my biggest component i want to have in this i want to get some a bunch of good eating fish because I love fish I want it clean 
And so there it is. It's part of all the junk. That's a side effect of me just trying to salvage everything I can to be able to make this system. I'll go into the cost of this too, and it's really not as bad as you probably think. Um, but hey, thanks a lot for watching, guys. I appreciate my subscribers out there. No, they're not a lot, but if I can do anything to help you guys out, just let me know. Um, and I'll definitely ask you if I can uh, need any advice myself as well. Thanks a lot for watching. You guys have an awesome day, and see ya.